What's up guys? Today I'm going to be looking at Starbase. It is a hybrid voxel vertex space MMO. Wow, that's a bit of a mouthful. It's intended to be a fully destructible with an infinitely expanding universe. Players will be focused on designing spaceships and stations, exploration, resource gathering, crafting, trading, and combat. And by combat, I believe they're talking about the online PvP. So, for those of you who don't know what a voxel is, think of a pixel, which is a two-dimensional square, whereas a voxel is a three-dimensional cube. Starbase came out recently in Early Access, late July 2021. I had to actually use a two-PC setup when capturing this video, because it uses a great deal of CPU, especially around the station. Hardware encoding with QuickSync was not able to keep up. Hopefully, it will be optimized at some point, because I'm sure that's probably what the issue is. I'm actually using my laptop to encode this. The developer and publisher is named Frozenbyte. You may or may not know, I also play and stream quite a bit of Space Engineers. It's quite difficult not to draw some comparisons. You may notice for one thing, instead of an astronaut, you are a machine. Kind of reminds me of Marvin from Apex Legends. Oxygen, energy, and jetpack fuel are not concerns in this game. Another thing I noticed rather quickly is there is no momentum and inertia, which is actually a very large part of Space Engineers. One of the very first issues I had encountered is something that I've experienced quite often in Space Engineers. I left my ship, went out a little ways, turned around, and I couldn't see my ship anymore. I found a simple way of getting it back, and that's what we're going to show you here. We're going to go get a job. Easiest way to make money in the early game, just smash some rocks. Inside these rocks will be sweet, delicious ore. Which we can then use to sell on the auction house, craft weapons, ships, star bases. Did I mention there's companies that players will join and then go to war? Wait a minute, this is not EVE Online. We're just making our way to the mining job site. And there's some large stuttering there, as you can see. So there's certainly some performance optimizations that need to be made. And there's another huge performance hit right there. Currently, I am using KB Lake processor with an RX 580. Looking at the recommended requirements, it recommends the i7 6700K, which is older than my i5 7600K. According to CPU benchmark, the older processor actually scores higher. The good news is I can overclock my CPU and achieve the same score. As you can see, we are about to enter the mining job site. Couple of stutters right there. So we tend to hover typically just under 50 FPS. And we've landed. Let's go ahead and run inside. We're going to make a right. This is the asteroid smashing area. So we need to attach our backpack here. So the ore gets collected and we'll go ahead and summon a new asteroid. Let's get our pickaxe and smash this rock. So basically just take out the outer layer and it reveals the juicy goodness inside of it. I can't swing at all in third person. So there is a left click to break the outer shell, and then there's the right click, which is a smash, which you will use on the inner part of the ore. As you can see in the lower right-hand corner, it's telling you how many credits we make per swing. And then on the display in the back, it will tell you how much credits you're making per minute. So we need to make about 500 credits. Which I believe is three asteroids. So this is going to be our final asteroid. As you can see, each ore has a different color. So this is the easiest way to make credits in the very early game. And that's it. 500. 
let's go ahead and go to a landing pad. We should be relatively close to one. Here we go. Let's go ahead and use the display panel. So here, if you lose your ship, typically instead of current station, it'll probably say like space. And then you can use this little button here and it will say tow. So you can kind of see that right there. And it costs like 500 credits, which is why we mined the asteroids. Sometimes it takes a moment for the ship before it shows up. What can kind of feel like a long moment. There it is, right there. And I'm going to go ahead and split this video up into multiple parts, so I will catch you next time.